Hi y'all, this is so so blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? I gotta tell y'all about my brush with the law. Now most of y'all who watch my videos already know that I've worked for law enforcement for 21 years, retired, then went back just recently, and now I work for a local police department. So I've always been on the right side of the law. But y'all today, I was on the other side of the law. Let me tell y'all what happened. Okay, first of all, we're about to leave to go on our vacation. Of course, me, Miss Procrastinator, wait till the last minute till I gotta go run some errands. I gotta go to SunTrust Bank. I gotta go to Wells Fargo Bank. I wanna go get my, my hair edged, my eyebrows arched. So I leave out and I happen to go the wrong way. I don't know, maybe just discom discombobulated. I go the wrong way. I end up going around Moses Barn, y'all. That's what my mama says, Moses Barn. Did Moses have a barn? I don't remember reading about Moses having a barn. Or maybe that was a different Moses. I don't know. But anyways, so I go all the way around Moses Barn, y'all, to go my first stop with SunTrust. And if y'all just know how far out I was. So then I'm just riding, thinking to myself, this is what I'm actually thinking. I've been in this city 15 years, and I'm actually lost. I cannot find my destination so I'm totally lost in thought my geographically challenged mind is totally lost in thought and I had no idea I was speeding that I was going 47 and a 35 or at least that's what the man say but y'all I look in my rearview mirror and I see like I see this car this is undercover police car red something like a Monte Carlo um, it's, flying behind me with lights and sirens and I'm like oh god let me get out of the way so um, there was a left lane there was a straight lane and a left lane so I pull over to the left lane so he could keep going straight no he pulled over behind me so I was like oh lord I done pulled into the left lane this man want to turn so then I go pull over to the right lane and he pulled behind me the right lane and I was like oh lord maybe I'm still in the way so I pull over in the grass and he pulls in the grass behind me and that's when Duh, duh, I think I realized, oh my God, he's not responding somewhere. He's after me. Oh my God, y'all. Popo, the man, law enforcement, police, all of the above. Yes, he's, he was after me. And even when he stopped me, I still had no clue why he stopped me. I mean, I assumed, okay, was I speeding? Because I'm like, I know I didn't do anything else, so I had to be speeding, but I had no clue I was speeding. So he pulls me over. He comes up, and as he's coming up, I take off my seatbelt, and he's coming up, wrong move, we'll get to that later. Um, he's coming up to cautiously, I can see him, you know, with his hand, like, hovering over his gun, and he's cautiously walking up to the driver's side, and I've seen enough true TV to know, you know, that what to expect, and of course, they're just using caution. And um, so he comes up, he's like, ma'am, do you know, well, I don't even know if he said ma'am, he was... I want to say kind of crass, but I mean, he's stern. He was just kind of stern. Um, he's like, do you know that you were going, I caught you going 47 and 35? And I was like, oh my God, really? Sir, I'm sorry, I had no idea. I was like, I, I was just thinking that I have um, been here. I was at, I told him, I was just thinking, I've been here 15 years and I'm lost. I'm looking for the Sun Trust on this street and that street. And I was like, and I can't believe I'm just totally lost. And he says, um, okay, well, give me your license of registration. So... I'm fumbling all around y'all, pulling out every piece of paper out of our glove compartment. My husband, who is a hoarder of paperwork and receipts and just nonsensical stuff that is, is in the uh, glove compartment, and I'm pulling out all this stuff and I'm putting it on my lap and it's wasting all off my lap, and I'm rambling on. I'm looking, but I'm rambling on. I'm even saying out loud, okay, did you calm down? Calm down. Why I'm so nervous and scared, I don't know. Like I say, I've worked in law enforcement now about 22 years. And I don't know why I'm so nervous because, like I say, I'm rarely on that end of it. So I'm just like, okay, Deidre. And I'm saying this out loud. Deidre, calm down. Calm down. Found the registration. And I'm also rambling, telling him, oh, my God, I can't believe. And then, of course, I throw in that I work for law enforcement. Yep, I played the law enforcement card. Yep, I did. Um, 
because I didn't want a little ticket, y'all. And that doesn't guarantee, but sometimes they might extend courtesy to you. So I'm rambling on. I'm saying, oh my God, I work for law enforcement. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. And so he was like, who do you work for? And I told him I retired from this sheriff's department, but now I work for this local police department. And he said, when the last time you had a ticket? And I don't, I'm like, oh my God, I haven't had a ticket in years. Like at least, I'm like, I only had one ticket in my life and it had to be about 25 years ago. And that was in Georgia. And he says, okay. So he takes my license and the registration, he goes back to his car. And when he comes back up to me, he says, oh, 25 years, one ticket. He's like, uh, ma'am, you had a ticket just in 99. And I'm thinking, 99, how long ago was that? Because now I knew. See now, y'all know what? I had to repent for that a lot because I knew. I didn't forget. I knew I, I had two tickets in my life. But you know, one sounded better than two. So I said I had one ticket in my life. And I knew I had a ticket somewhere far back. But it was so long ago, I didn't think that that would show up. But I don't know why I thought that because I know when I work for law enforcement, we have all kinds of resources and tools that we get your name and your date of birth or your driver's license. We got your life. So I knew that they had resources and tools to find this information out, but I was just nervous. And that that was that lie just came out of my mouth. Lord, Jesus help me. But that lie just came out of my mouth that uh, I only had one ticket before in my life and it was 25 years ago. So then he comes back to the car and he's like, one ticket? 30 years ago, 25 years ago, he's like, you have a ticket just in 99. So I did some quick math, you know, I'm not a math expert, but I was like, 99, 2009. I said, oh, you mean like 12 years ago, 12, 13 years ago? I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I totally forgot about that. I said, well, I had two tickets in my life. I totally forgot about the one in 99. Y'all, I was lying. I did not forget about the one in 99. But see, see how God would just pull the covers off your lie? Don't lie. God would just pull the covers off your lie. And I'm not a lying woman. But that was just the first thing that came up in my mind. I'm just telling y'all the truth. So he says, um, and he said, and that was for speeding. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I said, 13 years ago, I forgot about that one. He says, well, I'm going to extend courtesy to you, give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, he said, so just slow it down. And I'm still rambling. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I'm like, I'm headed out of a, on vacation and um, I got to go get my my reg registration, which I was after heading to finding the bank. Then I was going to go to get my vehicle registration because it expires. I don't know how it works in your state, but it expires on your birthday and my birthday is Sunday. So I, I said, and then so, and I said, um, you know, I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling on with him. I just say, you know, oh, I got to go get my registration before we head out of town. And, this, and I'm sure this make a care less. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, he, he extended me courtesy. God extended grace and mercy through this police officer's courtesy. Thank you, Mr. Popo. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And um, before I end this video and head on our way, hit the road for our vacation, I just want to give you a few pointers when you get stopped by the Popo. Okay, first and foremost, always wear your seatbelt if it's required in your state. I don't know if this is a uh, United States uh, campaign or just a Florida campaign, but they have click it or ticket. If you don't click that seatbelt, you will get a ticket. Fortunately, I did it right. I did have on my um, seatbelt. However, before the police could really almost get out of his car, I unbuttoned my seatbelt. Now, I'm sure he saw it. He probably, I'm sure he saw me in the seatbelt or he would have said something about that. But don't unbutton or unbuckle your seatbelt before, you shouldn't unbuckle it, buckle it at all. But especially before the police gets to your car and verify that you were buckled up. Uh, number two. Um, don't be rude. Don't get rude. I don't care how much you think you were in the right and the police was in the wrong or how much you feel indignant about being stopped or whatever it is or I don't care how crass or rude or whatever the police officer may be. Don't be rude and believe me humble pie and uh, being apologetic goes a long way. Y'all don't know how many times I was like, y'all was so humble. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, officer. I'm so sorry, sir. I did not know. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did this. Humbleness goes a long way. I'm telling you, I know had that man come up there and I'd been rude and indignant and like, why are you stopping me and all that? I He would not have extended me the grace and mercy that he did. And um, another rule is have your registration handy, y'all. I mean, have it current and have it 
handy because the, the police asking me for my register. Y'all, I pulled out some of everything out of this glove compartment. I, I, I pulled out the registration to our expedition. I pulled out the registration to my husband's trailer. Pulled out the expedition to some vehicle who doesn't even belong to us. I believe it's my, my husband's friend's vehicle. Some red pickup. So I know it had to be my husband's friend because he drives a red pickup. Why is his registration in our truck? So I pulled out so much junk. And finally, the police also had to point it out to me and say, that's it right there. So y'all keep your registration handy and easily accessible so you're not digging around that's also uh, not a safety that's unsafe for you to be digging around in your uh, glove compartment and the officer or deputy or sheriff or whoever it is is a little antsy like what are you digging for in that um, glove compartment so uh, keep it handy so you can just touch it um what other uh, yeah and i guess my last my last um um word of advice is don't speed. Don't speed, especially excessively. Now, like, like I said, working for law enforcement, I know that most law enforcement officers will allow you um, up to 8 to 10 miles over the speed limit. I'm not telling you to do that, but most of them will allow you up to 8 to 10 miles over the speed limit. But once you hit 11, that 11th mile over the speed limit, you're as good as caught. So don't speed. Um, even after the police had stopped me and I got and I, I got on the road and I was so nervous and I, and I was going under the speed limit. Every time I looked, I was going 30 and the speed limit was 35, so I had to make myself go a little faster. But then after the nervousness wore off and I started thinking about what I'm going to say on YouTube and what I'm going to tweet, y'all, I look down, here it is again, 35 miles per hour zone, I'm going 50. I say, Satan, use a lie. Shall we continue? Shall we continue in sin because God's grace abide? God forbid. So I had to whoo, woosa, and drop that speed down. So y'all drive safely. Don't speed. Buckle up. Be humble. Yeah. So now let me get up out of here so I can just like woosa, get all of this out of my mind. But i like to say thank you, Mr. Popo, for extending me some grace. Thank you, Jesus, for extending your grace and mercy. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Don't let the man get you. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> Love y'all.